Good morning. It's Friday, September 23rd, 2022. I'm Russ Hall, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Where is God? And our scripture is Jeremiah's Prophecy, Chapter 23. Am I a God who is only close at hand, says the Lord? No, I am far away at the same time. Can anyone hide from me in a secret place? Am I not everywhere in all the heavens and earth, says the Lord? There are at least two different ways to interpret the question, where is God? You can be asking about location in the sense that you want to find God's presence either out of curiosity or, more profoundly, out of need to know you're not alone in this universe. The second and more publicly common way to ask is the defiance motive. You're asking about God's location, or more accurately, his absence during an event that could have been prevented from becoming a tragedy. It's asking, where was God when my child died? The first kind of interpretation is a seeker of God. The second is a judge of God. Truth be told, it could always be both. Some would deny ever being angry with God. I'm not one of them, now. I could never quite bring myself to admit it, but there have been those times. One of those was when my grandmother died. I loved Grandma Carrie. She had a kind face, and she was not above slipping a cookie in your hand, even just before dinner time. She was a patient sort. Married to an alcoholic, she had to have the patience of Job. When cancer took her from us, I cried for weeks. As a preteen, anger was my emotional response to the grief that told me I would never see her again. A lot older now, and hopefully a little wiser, I realized Russell the child was asking the defiant kind of question born of pain. God... Where were you when cancer took my grandma? As a child, I had to lay the blame for what was wrong in my life on someone, just as Adam passed along his guilt onto Eve, making God the culprit of Adam's sin and failure for giving him that dangerous play toy. God was also to be my whipping boy. He should have been there, and he wasn't. Now, as an adult, with the blessing of a rear-view mirror, the guidance of God's Spirit through God's Word, plus a whole lifetime of experience, the question I have no longer focuses on the whereabouts of God. Life and God's gentle guidance have taught me of His omnipresence in every moment and place I've ever walked. Now the question is more appropriate. Where is Russell? Where is Russell's mind and heart in relationship to the God who is everywhere, sees everything, and understands every DNA molecule he used to fashion my body and stamped on my invisible soul? Mr. Wesley's question, how is it with your soul, is the question I now ask in the mirror every day. For you today. If you've been through some tough living and you're tempted to ask that judging question, it would be better to stand facing the mirror. But if the pain is too great, go ahead and ask God where he's been. He's got big shoulders. My experience is that he will gently remind you that he is where he's always been, right next to you, waiting for you to turn so he can wrap his arms around you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.